Uh, okay, just want to give you guys a couple options for how to edit a document. So these are both uploaded on Canvas. So I'm just going to start with the Word document. And not that one. There we go. Here's the homework assignment. This is a Word document. So I just want to show you how you can use Microsoft Word to edit this. So once you open the document up, I would save it and maybe save it with your name or however you want to do it, or you can write your name on here. Um, what you want to go to across the top is review. And this over here says start inking. And you can select your pen type, eraser, highlighter, things like that. So maybe if I was doing this first graph as an example, I'm going to go through 1, I'm going to go through negative 2, and I'm going to go through negative 5. And if you guys have a stylus or something, that would be great. But So I'd be looking for, here's negative 5, here's negative 2, here's 1. And if I multiplied this out, this would be x to the third as my leading coefficient. And I'm just going to switch up the color real quick so you can see my graph. Um, so this should go for x to the third here as my leading coefficient down at the beginning up at the end. And this does not have to be perfect in any way, shape, or form, but I'm just going to kind of wave this through here with the inking and then you can save as you go and then you can upload and send this to me so you guys can see this is a little shaky but that's totally fine so that's just an option if you want to use word and inking and just another quick thing with word let me scroll down here so like this one's the factored form if you want to type on this you can actually type on this as well um, if you want to insert an equation if you go insert over here is an option that says equation and you can type things you can square things um, if I want to square something this is what I go to here I use this all the time so that's just under the menu that says insert and then you go ahead click equation it'll give you all these options to type with if you want to type on here or you can just type if you want to or you can use the inking if you want to write that way okay another option is to use the PDF so if you want to use the PDF I attach both of them um, I'm going to go ahead and open my PDF here this is that same assignment and whoops I forgot one step sorry about that take the PDF from your desktop or wherever you're going to save it what you want to do is open it with I'm going to right click and you want to go to open with and then select Microsoft Edge sorry I forgot that step okay um, now once you're here it'll open it up and if you click on this button right here it says add notes and you can get a pen there's all kind of tools here you can change colors you can uh, just kind of like what I was doing with the word document so however you want to do this and then you can come and mark on the document you do have to um, if you want to do this with your touch screen you have to click on this and then you can go ahead I don't know why I just put that on negative 4. That's not correct for that first question. Sorry about that. So like this one would go through negative 5, negative 2, and 1. And I can go back and erase that little mistake that I made. So let me go through here again. And I remember I did this on the last question. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of sketch my graph here. So whatever is easier for you um, you can use the touch screen I'm just using my mouse you can use your trackpad totally up to you